Hey everyone, um, welcome back to Movie Reviews for Life, and what I'm going to do next is not a Batman animated film, but it's within the continuity, um, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do all the an um, DCAU animated films in their chronological order. Now, we, I know that Batman and, Ro Batman and Mr. Freeze was released in 1998, but it was actually made in 1995 or 96, and so the next film is... Superman, The Last Son of Krypton, which originally aired as a movie. It was not a three-part episode originally. It was originally aired as a movie, and I actually still have my recorded tape, um, <clears throat> you know, that, uh, you know, it was first recorded, I first recorded it when it first aired, you know, with the, with the, you know, trivias and the, you know, next time on Kirk Cameron's new TV show, commercials and all that other stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, like I'm saying, uh, The Last Son of Krypton is a feature-length film, 90 minutes, and basically what it does is um, each part of the film takes you to a different era, kind of like the Richard Donner Superman movie. All right, It was directed by Dan Reba, Scott Gerald, Kurt Gita, and Bruce Timm. And, uh, the first, the first part of the, uh, of the episode, we basically given a nice long, like a nice, like, half hour worth of, uh, Krypton. Like, we actually see wh everything that happens, you know, uh, how Brainiac, you know, now Brainiac in this, co in this series is not, you know, an enemy from another planet. It's actually an artificial intelligent, you know, pr um, robot made by Kryptonians, you know, and he decides to start taking, you know, the, the information from all the planets, and the first planet he does is Krypton, and, um, jor trying to f tell everybody that the world's going to explode soon, and Brainiac is basically saying, no, it's not, no, it's not, you know, and, and, you know, jor um, eventually finds out that, yeah, it actually is, you know, and Brainiac is just hiding it for some reason, you know, um, the second part basically shows Clark's, um, growing up in Smallville, how he developed his powers and how he kind of deals with it, you know, um, the third part, um, ex shows you he meets Lois Lane, you know, um, his first, you know, like how he first shows himself in Metropolis as Superman, you know, his first fight with John Corbin, you know, and um, his first meeting with Lex Luthor and all this and that. And um, each episode is structured very well. The weakest is probably the second half. Like, if you watch this as a three-part episode, the second part is probably the weakest one. But it's still good. I mean, it's not, you know, really that bad or whatever, you know. Um... You know, uh, the voice acting, you know, like I said, is actually really good. You know, it's not, you know, it's not dull to me at any moment. You know, um, I'd probably give this, I would probably, probably give this about four out of five. Because it's definitely, it's much different than, uh, than what we saw you know, in the Batman animated series, you know, but, uh, it's, you know, in a good way, you know, basically in a good way, um, <clears throat> what we, um, now, this was also, this was released as a DVD by itself, but it was also released on volume one of the Superman animated series, you know, as a three-part episode, and on that, we get, um, a audio commentary for the first part of Last on the Krypton, by Bruce Timm, Paul Dini, Alan Burnett, Dan Reba, and Glenn, Glenn Marakami, you know, um, and they do a pretty, you know, good job at, you know, doing what they do, you know, um, before I, you know, before I forget, you know, the, the, the voice acting, you know, is actually, like I said, the voice acting's really done well, and what we get here is we get Tim Daly as Superman slash Clark Kent, Dana Delaney, who played Andrea Beaumont in the Mask of the Phantasm, plays Le Lois Lane, and she's feisty in this uh, DCAU continuity. Clancy Brown is probably one of my favorite, favorite Lex Luthers. You know, um, done very well. He's the guy who was in, um, he played in um, uh, the Hurricane as the, you know, the, the, 
nice guy, you know, who who befriends, you know, Malcolm, um, befriends, you know, like main character. He also played in uh, Shawshank Redemption as the asshole cop, you know, the asshole security guard. Yeah, we also get Malcolm McDowell as John Corbin. Christa Mc- Christopher McDonnell plays the voice of Jarrell. You know, he would later on come back as an adult Superman in the two part episode, The Call from Batman Beyond. You know, Fiona Hughes plays Laura. Mike Farrell plays Jonathan Kent. Shelley Fabaris plays Martha Kent. Uh, Tony J is Sylvan. You know, um, Laura's father. Corey Burton. This is the first time we hear Corey Burton's Brainiac, okay, and you have to agree that his performance is chilling. He definitely sounds robotic, and um, I believe, yeah, he comes back, I think, as the Red Tornado in the Brave and the Bold Batman animated show. George DeZunda plays Perry White, David Kaufman is Jimmy Olsen, Lauren Tom is Angela Chen, Brad Garrett, who would go on to play Lobo, plays Bibbo in this episode. You know, um, Jason Marsden plays a teenage Clark Kent. You know, there's so much more, and I'll put down. You know, what it is that you know, uh, the, you know, all the anim- all the voice actors. I'll put them down and everything. You know, um, I don't have the individual DVD, so I can't really tell you too much about like what I thought about it. But it, you know, it's a you know, because all I have is the volume one. You know, of it. You know, but uh, definitely go see this. You know, uh, my next review will most likely be the three-part episode "World's Finest," which was a the first crossover between Batman the animated series and Superman the animated series, and that was also originally shown as a movie. All right, definitely go see it. the animation works, the voice acting works, the direction is pretty good, even though there's like four people directing, you know, or five people directing, you know. Um, just very well sought out, you know, very well thought out, rather, you know, so definitely go see it, and, <coughs> and, um, you know, I, I'll talk to you guys later.